Health Talk, brought to you by Rapids Regional Medical Center. Whooping cough vaccines, also known as pertussis vaccines, aren't just for kids. Since the disease can affect adults as well, doctors now recommend a whooping cough booster every 10 years. That's especially true for women of childbearing age. The idea is to boost their immunity while they're pregnant to, so they can provide immunity to their infant transplacentally. But if they haven't received it during their pregnancy, even postpartum, as soon as, soon as they possibly can, if they're breastfeeding, they'll be able to transfer antibodies to the baby through the breast milk. Pertussis, or whooping cough, is caused by a bacteria and is transmitted through airborne droplets, which are created every time you cough. Adults can uh, have full-blown pertussis, but the largest vector of, um, of children are the ones less than three months old before they receive their first vaccine, and they're going to get the sickest. But in 2012, the United States had its most severe pertussis epidemic in half a century, with 42,000 reported cases. First of all, there's significant waning immunity. Uh, the immunization practices did not have adults necessarily receiving another pertussis vaccine after their last booster that received, they received preschool, and the fact that there is a lot of vaccine refusal with a lot of the negative press that vaccines have uh, received over the last several years. That's one reason why Dr. John Rhodes recommends that parents, especially those with infants who won't complete immunity until age one, get a booster shot of their own. Absolutely vaccinate, stick with the, the vaccine schedule that's been set up by the American Academy of Pediatrics and receive all the vaccines and adult vaccination has, has really become very important. For a physician near you, call 877-801-8441.